Hello, how are you? So the email that you got this video link from is the same email that gives you the due date for this task and it also contains uh, as an attachment the soft copy of the document that you need to work on. Now when you open the document the first thing you need to do is to save it to your own device and rename it according to this procedure okay once you've re saved and renamed your file you can delete this part if you want to so this is an individual change management task it's a case study where you apply cotter's eight step model to a, a, a situation a workplace situation in the student guide page 75 week 7 onwards you will see all the information you need about Cotter's model so there are eight steps okay <clears throat> and what you need to do is apply these eight steps to uh, a business now a lot of the businesses that we talk about uh, are not things that you have had direct experience with I don't think you've ever worked for a hairdressing salon owner who has um, severe leadership behavior problems. I don't think you've ever had to relocate your toy shop closer to the city. But this situation, moving an educational institution from an on-campus to an online institution very quickly is, is a huge change that we have all experienced a lot of lately so I think your your understanding of this situation is going to help you a little bit as you try to apply Cotter's eight steps to this business situation so you're the manager of an educational institution and you have to tell us how you are going to apply this model now the first one has been done for you step one Step one and stage one. So, as you can see by looking in the student guide and researching online, Cotter's eight step model has three stages. And the three stages are basically the beginning stage, the middle stage, and the end stage. But you just need to know what they're called and, and what part of the process they include. So, I have called stage one, create a climate for change. In your student guide, you will notice that it is described as help to unfreeze the status quo, change the organizational climate and conditions. So whichever um, model you want to apply for stage names, that's up to you, but be consistent and make sure you understand it. If you Google the three stages of Cotter's eight-step model, you will see how other people have labeled these stages and it will help you to understand actually what the stages mean. So you've written down the stage, you've identified the stage, now you identify the step. And step one, you can just look it up in the student guide, create a sense of urgency. What does that mean? In your own words, just say, what does it mean to create a sense of urgency? It means to explain the situation clearly. Don't make people panic, but let them know it is urgent. That's, that's what it means, right? But in your own words. The next part of the task is to suggest an action to put this step into place. So to create this sense of urgency, I would send out an email to all the staff, to all the students. I would explain the situation, how it is compulsory, how it is by government order. I will say who's in charge of what aspects, who you can get in contact with, and what we are expecting you to do as um, staff or as students. So in my own words, that is the step that I would take. And then why am I doing this? step what do i expect to happen what is the expected outcome i'm expecting that if people follow through with this step everyone will understand what's happening they will understand the need for 
urgency, they will understand that they need to comply and cooperate. You can do this with um, steps two through to eight, fill in the table. Now the important thing is you don't need to memorize all the steps, they're written right there in the student guide. Any quizzes that we give you this week about uh, Cotter's eight steps, we're not going to quiz you on what step number five, what step number seven, but we're going to expect you to understand what the steps mean and how you can apply them. So by performing this task, sending it into your teacher for some feedback, we're, we're going to see if you, if you get it or not. So if you have any questions about the steps or about the task itself, leave them in the comments below and um, we can answer them there. Okay, get on with it. Thanks very much. Good luck.